I don't know why, but I had such a big crush on Anna as a kid. Well, Anna's handsome as fuck. Uh, so, it makes sense. Luna, you might be into hippies. That's not a problem, but just know that you're never going to be able to rely on them. Well, some. It depends. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was trying to get impaled by N in a different way in black and white. Ayo. Oh my. Ayo! I probably should have read that first, but Ayo! Also, Leora is here. Oh no, we are going to rescue Pokemon for you. Don't hurt... Don't hurt Vera! No, I'm good. They ain't gonna touch me. Like... Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, the electric gym leader is really cute. But yeah, no. When I play this game... Lenora. Ooh. Good taste. You know, the... Gotta like a thick black woman, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Also, the mm -hmm. fan art that was coming out was good. I I didn't get to see enough because the fan art was overshadowed by Skyla fan art for me. I never got into Skyla. What? She's nope. so hot. She is so hot. Even in the game, you can tell that she has a chip on her shoulder and she just did not want to be there. Right. She's just so hot. <laughs> I, like, if we're talking, like, Sky Pilots... I would take Wyona over Skyla anytime. Oh no, yeah, no, oh my god. I I don't know. I think I just have a thing for Sky Pilots because Wynona. I or even the Gopher. over. I prefer Wynona over Flannery, and people think I'm crazy. Uh, I do prefer Flannery. It's well, if for me, it's like it's a mix of like a bit of Wynona's personality because I like that those like down to earth to chill it's like down to she's like down to her and mature and that gives like that like milfy mature kind of attitude that i just am into that's fair it's like a personal thing for me you can tell that flannery like enjoys life but she also had like she she loves her community and you can tell that she is afraid of what's going to happen to her olding population if she leaves. Mm -hmm. But she wants to see more. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, she's like a very close second to her. Like, I love her as as a character in that regard. Also, she's like a straight up dork. <laughs> also, like, if you notice it. She has a Torkoal upgrade. Like, it's so cool that she has a Torkoal. And it's, like, strong, too. It's, like, unexpectedly strong for a fucking Dorkel. Overheat Torkoal. It's great. Like, combustion and later times Torkoal just gets explode. Don't know why. <laughs> but it does explode. Yep. And she, like... It, like, after you battle her, her confidence exudes even more because she's a brand new gym leader. Yeah. And she, you can, like, just see how she, how she acts. Like, she tries to put on this, like, fake, like, bravado, like, uh, 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 yeah, I'm the gym leader. I'm the man. You should, you know, see me as strong. And then later on, she kind of just mellows out. And she's like, yeah, I'm here for my town and, you know. I have a strong gym leader only because I believe to protect me and all the old people of this town, you know? Like, her reasoning and her confidence just exudes after you battle her. And many gym leaders don't really have a character growth in the games for in terms of story. I agree. You know, it's made for the side characters, which is pretty great in that regard. I don't think I know any other gym leaders that, like, kind of... Uh, roller skate girl. Roller skate girl. Corinna. Yeah, 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 that's true. Her whole thing with her grandpa and, like, the mm -hmm. evolution, yeah. Okay, I'll mm -hmm. be right back. I gotta go to the washroom. <laughs> 